That's the one SpongeBob dude who does it. Like Patrick's like, ah, so it's like, ah. And then like, ah! And they both go, ah! And then the dude does like huge, ah! I love you. Hey guys, it's me Noel and welcome back to my channel. As you can see here, I have a very special guest. It's my boyfriend, Ruben. Oh, yeah. Hi, guys. I've been on this channel before, so no surprise I'm back. <laughs> you guys really enjoyed my last face mask video. If you haven't seen that one, I'll link it in the description below. Yeah, I'm gonna try some face masks and hopefully I like them. I love face masks. They actually feel really nice and really soothing. Sometimes I do face masks just because I feel bad and I want a little pick me up. So Aww. we will be doing <laughs> some fun face masks here. For oh, it's a key. Look at him. He's a YouTuber. You're a YouTuber now. In this video, we're going to be trying out four different Freeman face masks, just like last time, except these are four new ones. And I got them on Amazon. I will link the products in the description below so you guys can get them if you'd like them. Not sponsored by Freeman, but shout out to you, Freeman. If you want to sponsor my videos, I'm open to it. I'm a free man now. <laughs> Without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. Enjoy this content. Hey guys, voiceover Noelle here. In this shot, Reuven and I are preparing our hair for the face mask. Reuven is doing his cute little man bun, and I have my fleece headband. In this video, we're going to be using silicone face mask brushes. Link to them in the description below. And we're going to be starting off with a Makuna Honey and Tea Tree Oil Clay Mask and Cleanser. Oh, that smells nice. Mm. This one didn't really smell like honey to me. It smelled more like baby powder. I got on my lip. Sort of. Application for this mask was smooth. It also has a very thick consistency like your basic clay mask. It also says you can apply it on your neck. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of that. I wish I had 20-20 vision like Ruben because I literally have to get like this close to the mirror to see anything that's going on. Leave this on for 3-5 to five minutes, no more than 10 minutes, and rinse with warm water. The Makuna Honey and Tea Tree Oil Clay Mask and Cleanser instantly deep cleans and absorbs oil without over drying. Makuna Honey helps deliver potent healing properties to nourish skin. Tea Tree Oil helps to purify pores and control oil with its antibacterial properties, perfect for oily to break out prone skin. I feel soft. My skin feels after doing face masks, I like to complete the process by using toner and moisturizer. Here I'm just using the Glam Glow Toner and Clinique Moisturizer. How would you rate this one? Out of five stars. I'd give it somewhere between a three and a half and a low four. I felt like it did its job, but it wasn't like anything extraordinary. Like it was just, it was fine. It wasn't too much. Cool. All right, let's move on to the next one. Next up is the Cactus and Cloudberry Water Gel Mask. Ooh, look at this one. Oh my god, Ruben. Mm. This smells amazing. Ruben, I need this as a perfume like immediately. It smells like lychee. Yeah! Glasses off. Ah. Guys, this smells amazing. Oh, it's cool to the touch. This one seriously had an addicting smell and the application was extremely refreshing on my skin. Not to mention this color. It reminds me of papaya. Isn't it gorgeous, Ruben? Mm -hmm. It does smell like lychee jelly. Mm -hmm. Like boba. That's what it reminds me of. I just can't like see like if I got everywhere because like it's kind of like... Oh, like it's it clear? Is. Yeah, it's clear. Guys, I know this is only the second mask we've done, but I think this one is my favorite already. Like. Let me just predict this is going to be my favorite one. It gives you a nice, like, orange tint. For this one, you can leave on for 10 minutes and rinse with warm water or simply just leave it on. Your face smells oh. good. <laughs> smell mine. Smell my face. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it's really nice. It's beautiful. The Hydrating Cactus and Cloudberry Water Gel Mask instantly refreshes and brightens for nourished skin. Quench thirsty skin with this water gel mask that instantly hydrates for a smooth, radiant complexion. Succulent cactus delivers skin plumping moisture and softness. 
Juicy cloudberry enriched with omegas and vitamin C illuminates for a healthy glow. How does your skin feel? It doesn't feel as dry as the mask before it. Mm, yeah, I agree. This one's a hydrating one. Quench thirsty skin. So it feels really refreshed. What would you rate this one out of five stars? Four or five. Like five? Somewhere in between possibly. I'm going to give this one a 4.5 out of five. Okay guys, see you for the third mask. Next we have the sweet tea and lemon peel off clay mask. Ooh. Ooh, it's like paint. Oh my gosh, it's like spewing much. out. It's spewing out. I can't control it anymore. It has a mind of its own, Ruben. It has a mind it of its own. Thin layer, thin layer, Ruben. Thin. This one smells like a beauty product. Feels like I'm putting on a beauty product. It's kind of sticky, huh? Exactly. A little, little sticky. I love this color. It's like a peachy orange color. It's really pretty. It's kind of making my eyes burn just a little bit. Is that normal? This mask is a little bit difficult to apply just because of how sticky and runny it is. I like it because like you can apply it messily, but it like kind of evens out on its own. For this one, less is definitely more. If you apply too thick of a layer, it will take forever to dry. I don't think mine's gonna peel off of yours. I think mine, I made mine too thick actually. Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes or until dry. The Sweet Tea and Lemon Peel-Off Clay Mask instantly removes impurities and tones for radiant skin. Antioxidant-rich tea helps protect skin from damaging free radicals, and lemon helps lighten dark spots for a radiant complexion. Perfect for normal to combination skin. So I realized that I applied way too thick of a layer on my face, so it took so much longer than 15 minutes and it's not even completely dry yet. Ruben on the other hand, completely, completely dry. dry. I really think you're supposed to put a, a thin layer on. Thin layer, thin layer, Ruben. Thin. So my bad, I just thought, I don't know what I thought. Um, but we're gonna peel it off now, even though mine's not completely dry. Try to get it in one piece. Okay. Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Okay, we're not gonna do this now. Someone in my last Freeman face mask video said peel up to avoid wrinkles, but I totally forgot to do that. Look at all this. I put way too thick of a layer. Did you get it in one piece? No way! What? I can't believe you got it in one piece. That's talent. This is my piece and it's all over my face. My skin feels really soft after this one. My skin feels smooth and fresher. Mm -hmm. I like the other mask because it made my skin feel more hydrated. I like that feeling more. It also was a fun one to do. Yeah. Because it, you had to peel it off. The peel was off. fun. How do you rate this one? Solid four. Really? I would give this one a four. All right, ready for the next mask? Yep. Ready for the last mask. Yes, the last mask. All right. Mask. This is day four. We actually did it on four separate days so we wouldn't like dry out or irritate our skin. So we're gonna do the last mask now. And last but not least is the apple cider vinegar clay mask and scrub. This is a clay mask plus scrub. Damp skin. Damp face. It has to be a damp face. BRB. Face damp. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, that smells nice. It smells like freshly squeezed apple juice. Oh, it's so nice. This mask had a similar consistency to the Mukuno Honey Mask. They were both thick, but this one was definitely thicker. I'm putting the mask with my hat on. <laughs> Probably a bad idea. 
Unlike the Makuna Honey one though, this mask has a very grainy texture, as it should because it is a scrub. Again with these colors, Riven, I love the colors of this set. So in my last face mask video, I said that the purple brush that Reuven's using was my favorite brush, but I changed it. My new favorite brush is this pink angled brush right here because you can really get in the crevices, like really get in there. Dang, look at that even application. Sorry about the lighting change. It's literally like 6 a.m. right now. Reuven has a plane to catch. <laughs> Leave on for three to five minutes, no more than 10 minutes and rinse with warm water. Last mask. That's great. Did I get on my lips? Yes, you did. <laughs> Don't eat it. The apple cider vinegar clay mask and scrub instantly tones, purifies, and mattifies for a flawless complexion. Excuse my pronunciation on this next part. Kaolin and bentonite clays clear out oils and debris from deep within pores. Pumice exfoliates to clear away dead skin cells, while apple cider vinegar tones for a radiant, flawless finish. Perfect for all skin types. Time to wash this baby off. It's a scrub, so you gotta like scrub. I'll show you guys. This is my mic setup right now. Hello. How does it feel? Oh, nice. When rinsing this one off, make sure to scrub your face, get in all those crevices, but also be gentle. Hello, camera. Just, uh, casually, I'll wash my face here. Okay, it's my turn. Ooh. That's nice. I love this one because you could really feel your skin get soft as you're scrubbing. I do have to say, it's kind of hard to get off. So we just got done scrubbing our faces and it feels pretty clean, very smooth. It feels really refreshed actually. It's not like super hydrated, but it's like, it feels really clean. I feel like for every scrub mask that I've used, my skin feels really soft after because the granules like scrub my face. Yeah. All right guys, I think it's time. The favorite? To decide our favorite mask. I already have mine in mind. Do you same. have yours? You do? Yes. All right, I think all we need is a drum roll. Why don't you go for the same one? Yeah. Light drum roll. Because <laughs> my tripod is weak. Three, two, one. <gasps> no. This one way. is my favorite. Nope. I set out all the masks here and he could have chose anyone, but we have the same favorite, guys. This is the Cactus and Cloudberry Water Gel Mask. You gotta explain why this is your favorite, Ruben. This one is my favorite, first of all, because of the free smell. The feeling of like aloe. It felt really good to put on and it wasn't super messy. It was really easy to get off. I chose this one as my favorite, similar to Ruben's reason. Guys, this smell is like. It's so yeah. comforting, like, I don't know. <laughs> I really like the application of this. Mm -hmm. Like Ruben said, it was an easy application. It felt really light on your skin. Not only is the application super smooth, the rinse off is super smooth. Like, I feel like it didn't leave a lot of residue. Also, something I found interesting about this mask is it's a leave-on mask. So you have the choice of rinsing it off or for optimal results, leaving it on. Like, le like I don't know what that means. Like, leaving it on overnight or like, the whole yeah, day. Do you have anything to add on? For this? No, that's a great match. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm mm -hmm. sorry if we're low energy right now. Like it's very early in the morning. We pulled an all nighter. We didn't get any sleep. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments down below what your favorite mask was and if you would try it out. Again, links to these products in the description below. You can find all these on Amazon. Special thanks to Ruben for being our guest on the show. Mm -hmm. Did you have fun? I did. Does really your skin it, feel yeah. good? It feels good. Very good, yeah. Good. It looks clear too. Yeah, pretty nice. Hit that like button and that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video. Wow, look at you. Look at like a model. You're recording. Oh, you're recording. Ah. I heard your tummy. Oh, your tummy? No. It was like. Bah, 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 bah.